Hey everybody, I am coming at you from an angle where I'm trying to see if I can help some of you guys with temperatures and issues in this game. So, uh, this is what I've been playing. This is just my first character ever, which is fine. Let's go real quick over my settings. Um, now I'm running a 3070Ti. Um, this is from MSI, so this is the MSI X Trio. Uh, windowed full screen. Um, these settings <clears throat> were what the game defaulted me to. The only things I adjusted, I turned off peripheral lighting, because we I, I don't care about that. I don't need this thing controlling my peripherals. Um, I set the percentage to 100% for resolution. I, I have this off. I haven't really been playing with this much. I don't really care about that right now. I'm more concerned about making sure the system stays reasonably cool. I did set a cap to 150. Uh, my monitor here is capable of doing 144. As you can see right now, we're right, running 144. Um, I've turned off the reflex of latency. I don't really care about that in Diablo 4. I mean, it's fine for something like Overwatch or something, but not for this. Now, the quality presets came... This is how it came when I installed the game. These settings have not changed any of these settings. I haven't had to change any of these settings, and I have no intention to change them for right now. They work fine right where they're at. I'm leaving them alone. I do have the high-res packs installed. I'm not using them. I'm just these settings as they are so um and sounds and stuff let me turn this down see if you can hear me better um i'm using a 5.1 surround sound it plays nice no problem there so oops yes this card okay um so let's go into the game And you'll see right now I'm running, you know, fairly comfortable temperatures. 50 degrees is nothing, but now we drop. See, now we're dropping to 43, 42. Now we're back in game. We're at 52. Typically, through my gaming sessions, this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing low 50s. It's It'll stay right there. I can run around in town, you know, 50, 55. It's fine. I can go out here and kill monsters. It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, that, that part's all good. So, um, no issues there. The screen is nice and smooth. I don't have any tearing, no jittery, no nothing. It's it's very, very nice. Now, watch what happens when I go in here. See the water is jumping up. Our usage has jumped up. Temperature is starting to go up. See that? Okay. Come back if you and need. Pop out. Work. See how it drops over here. Bam. Jump right back up, jumps right back up, water goes back up. Just sit, literally just doing that. I mean, we're not really doing anything. We just click on the windows and boom, stuff goes up. If I go into inventory and bring up you know, materials, it goes up a little bit. Not quite as much as the vendor, but it goes up. Um, but you get back out, it's fine. But here's a really funny part. This is what I like. I hit the map and then boom, we just drop like a stone. So if you're having... You know, periods where you want to bring it down, <laughs> just open your map because obviously, bringing up the map, it drops everything. It drops the frequency, it drops the heat. Everything goes right down to a nice little level. You got your map, it'll jump right back up 10 degrees, just like that. So it's kind of interesting that that happens. But again, even when I'm running all these temperatures and they're getting warmer, I'm still in a safe zone. But what I can't get this to display for you is the memory temperatures. Now, the memory temperature right now is going to be 15 degrees higher than this. And I'll show you that in my hardware monitors. I reset that before I started this game in this video. I actually reset the values. So you'll see what it got to during this little session. So it is reproducible. But if you get your settings set right, I mean... It's not going to hurt your system. This is, this is, I've been running this now for four days. 
I just literally just bought this card, so it's like it's not. And I bought it used. I took a complete gamble. Um, so it's it's been fine. The biggest thing is don't jump in there and go in your options and go in your graphics and go. Oh, I want to see what it looks like all cranked up and go in here and immediately throw it all the way up on ultra. I mean that's you know that's gonna possibly put your system into a state where it's going too hard now you got to try and get backwards you got to go back so I'm going to show you what you can do to counteract some of that so let me get out of here and um, we'll go back to my desktop okay so here we are on my desktop looking at the hardware monitor page um, so if I scroll down here to the graphics card this is just from just playing um, so we reached you know here's remember I was seeing 58 but look at where my memory got to see this is what's getting some of us in trouble what we don't know is this number a lot of you probably don't even know what your temperature your memory is getting to because for whatever reason especially when we're doing the bender thing and the sitting in town thing and looking at your inventory that's when this spikes this isn't spiking to normal gameplay i had i didn't see high numbers like this until i started looking into this issue a couple days ago so this this program isn't always the best program it's it works for me i i know people are gonna be like well this this that program is this and that fine whatever but it does give me some numbers and I can't necessarily dispute them because they're kind of all in line with other sources that I can bring up and look at too. Because I can bring up, uh, you know, Afterburner and, and see stuff kind of in real time at the same time this is running and see the same things. So I know that it's all part and parcel with that. Um, my point is, though, the. Uh, when you're in those menus and stuff, it's going to push your, your memory temperature. So what what's happening to some of you, I think, is the video card is still being heated up. But because this one isn't very hot, the fans aren't going crazy. If that makes any sense. In other words, they don't, they don't look, they're kind of not ignoring this number, but this isn't their priority. This is their priority. So they don't, they tend not to push the fans hard enough. Now you notice the fans here hit about 1800. Now I'm running a custom curve. Okay, so if I look over here at MSI Afterburner, which is what, what I'm running on to monitor my in-game temps. And I have to apologize. I think my mouse cursor might be a little off in height from what I see versus what you might be seeing in the video playback. And if that's the case, I apologize. Um, so if you go to fan here, see I have a custom curve set. Before... This curve would top out at about 90% fan speed. It never really went to 100. And it wouldn't kick in to like almost 40 degrees Celsius. I mean, they had a silent mode set up, which I still have, but it has to be pretty cool for the silent to kick in. I'd rather have that fan running even a little bit just to just to keep a little control of the temperature. And I, I steepened this curve, essentially. I didn't want it to kick in over here near 100. I wanted to kick in at the, you know full speed by 90. So I made a little bit of adjustment and made it a little steeper. And that overall lowered the uh, graphic temperatures about 10 degrees across the board. So that was from the first day to the second. And I made that change kind of right away. It's because I was trying to play it safe. Because I was seeing threads and posts about, oops, we're having cards blow up. People are breaking their cards. Of course, I wasn't running a 3080 up, which I was kind of happy about. <laughs> Even though it would have been nice to have one. But, you know, at the moment, I'm kind of happy with my 3070. So, that's something that you can do with this program. But you do have to purchase not purchase i'm sorry you have to you know download this from msi but you do not have to purchase a msi card to use it on you can use it on just about any brand of card uh but the card it works better on cards that are on the higher end the lower end cards i've noticed sometimes some of the features like clocks and stuff can be disabled and you can't do anything with them I, you know, I've tried it like on my laptop. My laptop, it don't let me do nothing because the fans, one fan in the system, they only have two fans. So I can't even control it. 
So some systems you may not be able to do some of this fancier you know, clocking and fixing and stuff. But I could go in here and, and change the core voltage if I wanted to undervolt. I have not played with that yet. I didn't feel that I needed to at this time. But um, I may embrace that later on. It's just that as long as my car is running at a proper range and it's not overheating and I'm not going to worry about that, you know. So let's see here on one more thing. I wasn't able to do the Battle.net app the way I wanted, so I'm just going to describe what you can do. There's two things you can adjust here. Um, first off, if you don't have a 4K monitor or you're not using a 1440 monitor, you can safely remove the high res packs and that may help some of your issues with the uh, performance of the uh, game. If you don't wish to, that's fine. I, I am running the high res packs right now, but that's because I hope to eventually upgrade to a 1440p monitor uh, later this year. The other thing you can do within the um, Battle.net launcher besides remove the packs you can also um, change your default settings for the game. There's, you can clear them in the in the launcher, but I find that it's best to exit the launcher, go to Documents, go to Diablo 4, find the local prefs file. It's local P R E F S, and then delete that file or rename it. Reopen your launcher relaunch Diablo 4, it'll create a new default file. This, hey, if you get in trouble with your graphics settings, you're not sure where you should start over at, do that, it'll reset in the default, and then you can go and do small tweaks from there, kind of like, like I was explaining how I did in my game. So, just a bit of advice, it might help. Anyway, as a final note, um, overall, trying to plan for a lower setting um, on the car doesn't necessarily mean anything bad. It's actually probably a good thing. Always start at a lower option and go up if you can. And yeah, any, any game can take a little experimentation to get a good sweet spot for looking nice and performing nice. Right now, we just have to find a balance of, uh, you know, being playable and not overheating a card, <laughs> which is not ideal and certainly not fun. And, and I hate it for those that have cards that's actually failed. It shouldn't be happening. But if anything, it's just telling me just how much more gaming has progressed to the point where we got stuff this heavy, uh, this powerful and causing these kind of issues. That we're seeing here anyway um i couldn't do all the things i wanted to show you on here because of the way i don't have my normal recording set up yet on this newer machine so i got to get that done and maybe i'll do a little better video down the road but for right now at least you got some idea of how i'm running mine maybe that'll help some of you i don't know you can also call me crazy that's fine too i <laughs> i'm i'm easy i'm not i'm not really an angry type of person Regardless how I come across on the forum sometime, I'm actually pretty easy to get along with. So, if you find this helpful, great. If you don't, that's fine too. You're welcome to also give out suggestions or opinions. Anyway, have a good one. Game on.